You all know how much I love conspiracies, reptilians, flat earth, the revival of JFK Jr. and his upcoming presidency announcement, 5G Wi-Fi reprogramming gamer DNA, fucking microchips hidden in our spaghetti. I love all of it. But what if I told you there's a new and growing conspiracy that makes all of these look rational? I'm talking about the secret space program. The secret space program, to break it down, is basically a group of people who believe that they were at one point selected by space Nazis to fight intergalactic threats, and they are augmented super soldiers that have lived on Mars for 300, 400 years in some cases. They, they command uh, high-tech mechs like Gurren Logan shit straight out of an anime. And it's people who genuinely believe this, they have their own seminars, the meet and greets, they have their own community. I was recently made aware of this thanks to a YouTuber named Oki's Weird Stories, a fantastic channel, and a lot of work went into a video he produced where he talked about and infiltrated this conspiracy group. It's truly amazing, we watched it on stream and I'll play clips of that now. But I'd encourage you to watch the full video to get like the absolute all-encompassing experience because I, I can't do it justice. There is so many layers to this onion, not even Shrek could get to the bottom. It's fucking amazing. But my god, I was blown away by what I was seeing and learning. So I've of course done my own research on it now, and it is even better than I could have possibly imagined. The secret space program is where LARPing, fanfic and main character syndrome all collide into this singularity, this, this fucking supernova of entertainment. It, it is amazing, and it wouldn't be nearly as enjoyable if people didn't actually believe it. From everything I can see, this isn't some kind of joke movement or anything. Like, of course you have the fun ones like Birds Aren't Real, but you all know, and not to spoil the surprise or ruin Christmas, tell you Santa's not real, the Birds Not Real movement is made as a joke. And I know that's kind of blasphemous to say, but in comparison to the secret space program, which is taken very seriously. This person for the White Dragon Society. With me here is Chodoin Daikaku. He's the head of the world's martial arts societies, and if necessary, and in, in an emergency, he can summon up an army of 200 million people worldwide. This guy? This guy looks like a sex doll. This is, a, is there a human being here? Or, like, the quality's so bad I can't even tell. Is this flesh? He can summon up an army of 200 million people, and he's the head of the World's Martial Arts Committee? Here on my right is Alexander Romanov, who is a grandmaster of an Illuminati group that, oh. uh, that claims to have started the French, Russian, and American revolutions. Wow! You may Imagine if someone told you they lived out the plot of the movie Total Recall. That they thought they were living a regular life until one day they recovered memories of being a secret agent fighting an evil organization on Mars. I'd say that's a fucking good man. Who is an Akashic reader, healer, and telepath. And he also remembers being in a facility that trained his shape-shifting abilities in which I was also a participant of. He recalls Can you still shapeshift? a soldier in Kruger and has done training missions with zombies and vampires. Well, there was one kid. There were zombies and vampires on Mars. There was another a female that surely we could cure zombieism, and that was used for surveillance. Um, I myself was a blue wolf. Upon realizing this, I started to formulate a plan. <laughs> what if I made up a story about being in the secret space program? Well, that's all they do. Show yeah. and share it See, with I mean, community. that's easy. And that's how I finally found an angle that compelled me enough to make a video about this topic. You don't join the SSP, swine. So if my goal you are still chosen. sounds too vague to you, I set up a criteria for two. Get onto a major platform we'll within just say the you're part of the blue as a whistleblower wolf and share my experience. Crew. I developed Easy. this criteria after thinking what's required to become an SSP whistleblower. Before World War II, the Nazis, who were interested in mysticism and alternative views, searched the planet for fantastical powers. They found Maria Orsek a medium and leader of the Vril Society, who channeled Nordic and Draco reptilians who Holy offered the Nazis shit, this the is semantics a behind anti-gravity technology in UFOs. The Draco reptilians told I always the Nazis knew this about ancient alien happening. technology hidden in Antarctica, Somewhere. and in 1938, the Nazis traveled there. And by 1950, the Nazis were on Mars. The new Schwabenlanders didn't want to support Hitler at, at the end of the war because they, they considered him... Let me catch up on the war myself here at base 211. 
the new Schwabenlanders. Was that like a real division in the Nazi Germany, or is that just what the secret space program made up? The new Schwabenlanders. <laughs> no evidence. Bro, we don't use the E word when we're talking about the secret space program. We just feel it. They have unlocked memories. Dumbass. Evidence. Fuck, what are you? What are you? Huh? Some kind of... Some kind of science believer? Idiot. Insane. The this guy has lived for 330 so years on Mars. Split. Okay, you don't understand. The Nazis capable of space and time travel yet. became the fourth right. You don't have the and they lived off to experience. And space while refusing to breathe and began an aggressive expansion out into the solar system, setting up. So is the entire secret space Saturn, program Nazis? The belts and etc. Capable of time travel, the space Germans also traveled back in time to settle on planets around the galaxy. In their own lore, they made themselves Nazis? Why? So they're part of the new Schwabenlanders? Alright, give me one second. I'm gonna go say goodnight to Tiana. And then maybe interrogate her to see if she's part of the secret space program and she's lying to me. Full offering services to help recover secret space program related memories. At the top of the list was James. And for $200 USD, oh. I could book a guided meditation regression session. Draco reptilian humanoid hybrid. And then I think I also got like Anunnaki. Uh, MA. <laughs> Do you know who you might have been in a past life? Maybe you're like the, the black samurai Yasuke. <laughs> you were a samurai? Yeah. Uh, dude, I'll, uh, I'll show you something. Uh, check this out. Uh, that's pretty dope. And I was a, I was a gladiator. Oh no, that's awesome. Oh wow. The goal here, I want, I, I want to. You could learn a lot from space. James. Let's put a gold thought into it. Just imagine what, what do you think? Imagine Oki just him becomes him a doing? real believer. So let's start with that and tell me what you see. I see Kevin Spacey or his clone. Paul Serene, he was on uh, the the, uh, the governing council of the ICC. Uh, so his clone is uh, Kevin Spacey. We're in a, like a gymnasium. Wait, what? Uh, so, wait, is that part of SSP lore? Kevin Spacey is like a figurehead in the secret space program? Oh, okay. So Monarch is responsible for human trafficking, sex, mind control, experiments, and chem trailing. I knew it. Fucking Kevin Spacey was behind it all. That son of a bitch. Evil bastard thought he didn't, thought he got away with it. Didn't expect us to be hot on his trail. Luckily, we broke away from Atlantis, though, so we cut the connection. But Kevin Spacey himself is a clone of Paul. We're in a, like, I think I see... Oh, nice. Thanks, thanks for the rubber feet. Mr. Beast. Today, we will be planting 20 million trees. Okay, so they're probably programming him. But he's the guy that was near to give away a bunch of free stuff on the videos. Yeah. They must have looked into the, his future and... Okay. So a few days later, I traveled to Las Vegas and landed at what? around 12 p.m. after a four-hour plane ride. Man, he went all in for this video. I'm here. Traveled fucking 5,000 miles for a 45-minute interview. In disclosure, 5D events. This is, this is going to be an exercise in patience for me. No, this is going to be an eye-opening experience for everyone. We're all going to leave here thinking we're super soldiers from space. The golden nugget. And experience this up on the starship. Is he the only one here? Times. I spoke with the commander, the Arcturian commander, <laughs> who I am connected to. <laughs> That's how we connect? This concert, this Travis Scott concert, where 800 people were injected with these <laughs> drone mosquitoes. You know, you see oh, that, wow. wow, they can go around. So that's what happened. People. Jesus Christ. It is, whoops. It is so hard to believe that people like that exist, man. Not only exist, but have other people that believe them. Like, they have influence over other people. That's fucking wild. Think about that for a second. I've said this a million times. No matter how stupid you are or how outrageous your beliefs, you will always have an audience thanks to the internet. You will always find people that agree with you, support you, 
worship you or just at the very least provide camaraderie in a positive echo chamber because you were connected to everyone at all times through Twitter and Facebook. So that guy who thinks at the Travis Scott concert, 800 people were injected with, what was it? Some uh, super space mosquitoes or whatever. He's got a, a hundred other people in his Facebook group that all think the same thing. Wild. We got to go to how to become a Jedi warrior. Uh, I'm excited about that one. That should be, yeah, be that should be productive. Unfortunately, when we showed up to the How to Become a Jedi Warrior workshop, no one was there, not even the speaker, so it was canceled. We just got in here. We have no idea. Oh man, what the fuck? Is. Well, they're too busy having You're sex. Right. I bet. Just gave up. On Mars. The next quantum spoon bending. Parentheses. Bring your own spoons. Close parentheses. And the quantum spoon bending lesson was underwhelming since instead of learning how to bend a spoon with our minds, we were instructed to physically do it with both hands. What the fuck? It's real! Oh my god. While walking around the venue, I noticed that James had sent me a text inviting me to his hotel room for an interview. Suddenly, a wave of anticipation and euphoria washed over me. This was it. Finally, after several months- <laughs> He ends up getting like Harvey Weinstein by James. I ran back to the workshop room, <laughs> found Night Docs, filmed the interview, and to get to Jay's hotel room as soon as possible. Night Docs, go with him. Essence. Keep him safe. Therefore, being late oh my god. Enough. Night Docs, who was behind me, was still trying to the attach- super The super soldier's unpredictable. Window, which would not fit. By then, any nervous anticipation I felt leading up to this face-to-face -face sit down had completely dissipated. Yeah, you I just get calm, to come in here knowing and that I was more than make some to shit up. About my time in the secret Have space program in a convincing manner. The interview lasted one hour, and here's what happened. Okay, so my name is Oki. So it started from before I was even born, where they uh, genetically enhanced my DNA. I mean, by the time I was six, I was put into a special program run by Monarch. I was under direct <laughs> tutelage of Pulse Rain, Kevin Spacey's clone. There was 12 children. <gasps> Oh my god. Luckily, James didn't pick up on that. He just got the lore wrong. Paul Serene is not the clone of Kevin Spacey, Oki. Kevin Spacey is the clone of Paul Serene. Oh my god, the whole operation just went tits up. There's no way James didn't just... Oh my god, there's no way James didn't pick up on that. Oh my god. He blew it. He fucking blew it. SSP's on his tail now. Were trained He's hunted. Directly He's a hunted him, man. Including myself and the YouTuber Mr. Beast. So every method they could to use MK Ultra programming <laughs> and to create killing machines. And I was able to just look at a photo of a target and make their head explode. Because I mean, there, was, there was billions of dollars spent on each and every single one of us. I particularly liked uh, that my sounds like Kevin Spacey's uh, research. I liked my uh, my two daggers. Um, <laughs> I had a form of EMP um, that I could take out there. He's a uh, Reddit assassin. In my past life, I was on Mars. Yesterday, the Black Samurai. Did any of your clones ever get changed into a zombie? I had um <laughs> I had a clone. <laughs> I like how that's one of James' core questions. Have any of your clones? Have any of your clones been changed into a zombie? James makes it sound like he doesn't even know what the fuck a zombie is. He makes it sound like it's a state of mind. He, the clones would have to die first, James, and then Kevin Spacey and uh, Paul Serene would have to do a fusion dance in order to bring out the proper necromancy on Mars at the knock Knockwaffen to revive them for them to be zombies, James. Jesus Christ. He's getting lost in his own sauce. He's not even following his own rules in the secret space program. That clone, clone actually was fighting zombies and vampires. And um, there was also yetis that they were fighting. What about vampires? Do you re recall any scenarios fighting vampires? He just said that, this, James. This particular thing. This He's killed a thousand of them with his bare hands. Is that they can't help but count. From what I remember, um, <laughs> Most clearly, is he that wanted I do that so have bad. <laughs> many different clones of myself with used pretty much as like kamikaze pilots. Uh, typically, at least what I heard, um, black people require a different protocol of brainwashing. <laughs> uh, 
Time flew by, and I was That's, struck by the effortless. The super, of the super soldier is many things, but a coward he is not. He was. He will ask the hard hitting questions. He will go where no other space program super soldiers will. The story which I crafted. I spoke for one hour. He actually and fucking said my that. story so coherently. I was playing a role. And even though I created the role, while I was performing it, it was like a switch in my brain went off and everything I said felt real. That's 100% that true. That's how it works. Speak matter of factly about That's why these communities exist. Spacey's clone along with Mr. Beast. Whistleblower testimony that they've heard on yeah. James's channel so far. And one person even said that they cried the whole way through the video. <laughs> so that's that. I'm <laughs> oh my god. Well, I don't want to read that. I'm so sorry you had to do that. Thank you for your bravery. Oh man. God. Like, to a certain extent, I feel bad for them. Not like, not in particular the Secret Space program, like them too, but in general, people that truly believe these things, like wholeheartedly separate themselves from reality to exist in this new made up world. It is sad to a certain level. God, that was amazing. It, this is criminally underrated for the work that went into this. Dude flew out from Canada to Las Vegas to a secret space program meeting in order to have an interview with the number one figure in secret space program super soldier lore. The 330 year old ass beating ass eating super Goliath James.